One of our goals at Bedford Bible Church is to ensure that every time the Word of God is opened, we understand what it means and we realize how it applies to us in our everyday life. God's Word isn't given to us simply to fill our heads with knowledge, but it's there to show us who God is, who we are, how we can know God, and how we can live our lives. Some people refer to the Bible as God's handbook for life, and it really is full of the wisdom that we all need to know, that I need, and that you need. And I want to give you some idea of what we're going to be dealing with this coming Sunday. This Sunday morning, we're going to continue going through the Gospel according to Mark. And in the verses we're going to look at, we'll see that Jesus really did something which the people around him thought it was scandalous. He went to a tax collector and he gave him the invitation, follow me. And Matthew, the tax collector, stood up and followed him. And his life was never the same. And it was considered a scandal because Matthew was thought of as, as one of the terrible sinners. Nobody in the nation would have approved of him. He had taken sides with the Romans uh, against his own people of Israel. And yet Jesus loved him. Jesus would save him, change him, and use him. And it's the same for you and I. When God enters into our life, he gives us the invitation to follow him. And if we do, then he has said that by his grace and because of the finished work of Christ on Calvary, that he will save us and change us and use us mightily for his name's sake. Sunday evening will be in a, a very much less known passage in the Old Testament. And we're going to conclude our study of Joel. And in Joel chapter 3, we'll see something which seems completely different. And yet I believe there's a connection. In Joel chapter 3, uh, the prophet looks all the way to the end of time and he sees how God ties up all the loose ends of history as we see them. And yet, as we consider that passage of scripture, we'll see that God is working out his plan and his purposes. And that although we seem to be in a world where everything is out of control, it may seem like there are vying powers for control of our lives and nations and our futures, we can be comforted that God knows who we are, where we are, he knows what he is doing and how he can use our lives. In Joel chapter 3, we'll see Israel as an illustration that God is going to one day restore them to the relationship that they once had with him. And in that, we can have, again, hope that if God can work out things in empires and nations, then he can work out things in our lives. So I hope you can join us Sunday morning and Sunday evening and learn from God's word and see the wisdom that is there for our lives each and every day.